This is the last room on the house tour, and it's an extravaganza of stenciling. Predominant colours are a mixture of copper, gold, red and green. I was helped by my friend Sabina, an experienced stenciler, and a team of first-timers, which included my mother. Her first stencil project was the bed covers and hangings. Glazed cotton and velvet were stenciled using OTT 26 and 30. The palmettes were stenciled onto turquoise silk, copper and gold first, followed by the other colours. The lanterns were gilded with Dutch metal. There is one long uninterrupted wall, a perfect blank canvas. We enlarged the panels from the OTT range and broke up the background colours of the wall, framing areas with a black stripe. Over the black stripe we stenciled OTT 13. Antique gold paint is used on the ceiling. The quadrant stencil made up a circle of 48 inches in diameter. I adhered it to the surface with spray repositioning adhesive, but as the stencil grew heavy with paint it became unwieldy and too heavy. I would now use hook and loop sticky pads such as Velcro and repair the damaged paintwork afterwards. The fireplace was stenciled using black acrylic. We stenciled the OTT1 border onto MDF and cut around it to make a window pelmet. The reverse of the shutters matches the front. To stencil a radiator like this one, roll the stencil in and out of the grooves. It is easier than it sounds. The carpet is cotton upholstery velvet with a two overlay tile, OTT 38, one layer in copper and the other in gold. Another of our first timers stenciled this. We backed it with curtain lining fabric, added a heavy fringe and then secured it with non-slip webbing. So from the tile pattern on the floor, the quadrant on the ceiling and all the bits in between, every surface in this room has been decorated and makes a truly dramatic setting on which to conclude our tour. Now let's look at how we create these wonderful effects. 